Hey folks, everything new under the sun. I want to do a quick video about this particular article. Um, I have uh, uh, questions about uh, what is happening in China. Uh, China is uh, the place to watch uh, for uh, the current uh, pandemic, of course. See what they're doing, how they're reacting. Uh, since it seems to have come out of that area and it also seems to be have been uh, uh, engineered uh, for gain of function, et cetera, et cetera. So you need to you need to watch to see how they are reacting because uh, if they uh, if this was designed, they may know um, what it is and um, what the uh, the possibilities of it are. And again, it's interesting to see how they're reacting. So um, it's spreading in 31 provinces in China. Residents are panic shopping. Communities are locked down. So it appears in China. They are trying uh, to implement uh, basically the zero uh, COVID policy. And uh, it's interesting uh, because, uh, you know, you could argue uh, that they're doing it because, you know, with their uh, 1 billion or whatever citizens, they don't want it running amok through the massive population because that would be uh, horrific and catastrophic. Um, the other option is um, that uh, uh, they know they need to stamp this out 100 uh, percent for other reasons. Uh, in their population, um, strategically or otherwise. And so it's interesting to see uh, what's happening. So the article, let's uh, read a couple things, and I, I just want to bring it to your attention. Um, so I, one of the main things is that they're, they're uh, panic shopping. So if this starts to take off elsewhere, uh, similar things might happen, so be prepared. In a southern city, there were reports of uh, people panic shopping, while in the northeast province, I'm not going to uh, try and pronounce that, Authorities forced a lockdown of residential neighborhoods. Remember, this is uh, two years now, I guess it would be, if not more, uh, since this started, since they went down into the massive lockdowns, and they're trying to stamp it out. Um, so they're obviously worried significantly about it. The Communist regime's National Health Commission reportedly reported 93 locally transmitted cases in one day on November 3rd, which is the highest this year. Uh, and you say 93, my goodness, so there's places all around the world that are doing uh, many more than that. Uh, in a day, and China is worried about 93. Why the panic, you know? Um, is it simply because there's just millions and millions of people crammed into cities there, and they worry just a massive effect? Um, the other thing is that um, these are all uh, vaccinated individuals. Um, so uh, do they not trust their own vaccine? Uh, you know, why are they trying to stamp this out so hard? And not only that, but also telling residents to stock up uh, for uh, for a long winter, for a cold winter, stock up, buy food. What are they doing here? Uh, it goes on. It says, this comes as a ruling C uh, CCP's uh, conclave. The sixth plenary session is set to be held in Beijing. Uh, so I guess they, they want that to run smoothly. But you can see the, the spike on the chart of the uh, daily uh, cases reported. It was hovering uh, at a very small number, and then it started spiking. And then it came down, then it spiked again, went down, and, and is spiking again uh, as they uh, suppress it. Uh, and uh, they, they're forcing people uh, to stay at home now, even uh, going as far as putting stickers on doors now. It says, for people quarantined at home, the, the authorities put seals on their doors or installed door sensors on their home and apartments, apartment doors rather, to prevent them going out. So this is serious. This is all because uh, there are uh, 94 cases in one day apparently, that they're going so far as locking people down and putting seals on their doors. Now, of course, they, were, they would do much more than, hopefully, in theory, we would in the Western world. Uh, but why, with, with uh, seemingly a, a, not a huge amount, uh, a number of people uh, getting infected, why are they uh, locking people down so tightly uh, with the, with the uh, interest in zero COVID there? When scientists around the world have said, you know, this is endemic, this is going to continue with us year over year, why panic? And so it's curious, what is the uh, Chinese Communist government doing? Why are they doing this? Do they have any information? This is my question. Do they, do they have any uh, long-term information or, or any other information about what happens um, as this spreads and if it continues to spread? Why aren't they? They, they built massive hospitals. If you'll, you may recall, a year and a half ago, they were building massive hospitals to deal with all the people. And I don't, I don't know if it turned out as bad as they thought it did, uh, but still, they're, they're locking down. So, again, the question is why. Meanwhile, reports in Shenzhou City in Jingzhou uh, province said residents have been panic buying food, supplies, emptying out local supermarkets That's because their government basically told them to go and stockpile uh, for the winter. 
Uh, but it says they're they're doing that after a report of local local COVID nineteen cases. Now that now it may be that they know that the government is going to lock them down hard uh, if this uh, increases any amount, and they have a history of doing that. Of course, people are mainly grabbing rice, cooking oil, instant noodles, and dried noodles. Um, apparently, there's a video by Epic Times. You can go uh, to Zero Hedge and see this. Uh, but it's again, it's interesting to see uh, what they're doing. Uh, and uh, seeing to the, the extent to which they're going to lock this down. Since uh, Chinese communist regime has consistently covered up the real situation of COVID epidemic in China since the start of the outbreak in Wuhan, official statistics may not reflect the real number of cases and deaths. So again, are they locking it down because there's 94 cases, or are they locking it down because maybe there are, are a massive number uh, of uh, cases and they're just not reporting them all. Maybe this is a small percentage, you know, 10%, for example, or 5% of the actual infected. And it may well be, and maybe the Chinese officials don't even know that because not everybody's going to go to a hospital. They're just going to stay home sick and, and not uh, uh, tell anybody. Of course, they're going around enforcing uh, tests on everybody. Uh, literally millions of people in a city, uh, they're going around and testing. So it's uh, pretty incredible. Um, in High City, um, there was an epidemic press conference on November 2nd saying that after the outbreak on, 27, on the 27th, traffic checkpoints were set up on eight roads in and out of the city. They quarantine the whole city, millions of people, and they test every single person. And it's mandatory, and uh, the vaccination is mandatory, uh, and it's just incredible. 24-7 lockdown. Uh, there he is. I wasn't scrolled up there. Uh, you can see the text there. So it's significant. Keep your eye on China. Keep your eye on what they're doing. I think the answers will come out, uh, what they're doing, why they're so concerned about this. Is it purely because they have millions of people and, and they don't want uh, uh, millions and millions of casualties? Or, or is there something else? There? I don't know. I don't know what the answer is, but I, sin I, I find it strange uh, considering what we in the Western world are doing now as it relates to this, or everybody softening uh, their uh, rules and mandates um, <clears throat> slowly, but hopefully surely. Um, and this is, uh, it, it continues in China, and they're still locking down because of it. So uh, let me know in the description what you think is happening there. It's an interesting uh, story, and I, I've been following this. It's just I haven't been covering it in videos necessarily, um, but it, it's, you, you got to watch. They If, if anybody knows uh, what this could do, how fast it could spread, and maybe if the, what other mutations there are, um, it would be the, the Chinese, I would think. So uh, pay attention, folks.